Have you ever wondered what games you should keep or you should lose? Find out here at Purdue. So Bang is going to be kind of like a hidden identity game. What that means is that base number of players are going to use a number of these cards. These cards will be randomly assigned to the people, and only you will know who you are. You can be an outlaw. Maybe you're the renegade, or your deputy sheriff, or maybe the sheriff himself. So you'll get one of these. It'll be randomly assigned out. You'll look at yours. Nobody else will look at it. This will kind of tell you who you are and what the winning and losing conditions are for you. And the winning conditions are printed right here. So the renegade tells you, be the last person to play. The sheriff says, kill all the outlaws and the renegade. The deputy says, protect the sheriff, kill all the outlaws and the renegade. The outlaws say, kill the sheriff. So your winning conditions are printed right on here. If it's not your winning condition, then it's your losing condition. In this version, everybody is given a character they will play. So Bart Cassidy, each time he's hit, he draws a card. Willie the Kid, he can play a number of bang cards. And so I'll give you a little bit of a power. Also tell me how many bullets you have. Bullets are your life. So Paul Regret has three, Slab the Killer has four, Al Gringo has three, Rose has four, etc. If you're playing as the Sheriff, just know you have an extra bullet attached. Big Spencer, I mean, he takes a lot of these. He starts with five cards and he can't play misses. So he's going to get shot a lot, but he has a lot of health. So everybody's going to get one of these. Each player is going to draw a number of cards based on how many bullets they have. So if you have three bullets, you will draw three cards. So the turn's going to be pretty easy. You're going to have your starting hand. Each turn, you're going to draw two cards to add to your hand. You can play as many cards as you want on your turn, and then you would discard whatever the excess cards that you have. You can play as many cards you want on a turn, but you can only play one Bane card. You can only have one weapon card into play, and you can only have a copy of each card. So you can't have like two of these Indian cards in play, so one of each card. So you can play one Bane, you can have one weapon card in play, you can play as many cards as you want as long as they're not copies of other cards. You can have blue cards and you can have brown cards. Brown cards, you play them and you put them into the discard pile. Blue cards are going to stay in front of you. So this is going to tell you a range of how many uh, you can shoot across. So if you wanted to shoot somebody, you could shoot two people on your left or up to two people on your right with this weapon. If I had a Winchester, I could shoot up to five in either direction. So the different weapons are going to give you range of how you're able to shoot. After you play all the cards you want to, you discard down your hand size, which is how many bullets or life tokens that you have left in the turn. Once somebody shoots you and you run out of life tokens, you are now dead and eliminated from the game. You will reveal what role you were. I was an outlaw. And this is what I was trying to do, thus narrowing down the options for the other players. You are out of the game and cannot play any longer. If someone accomplishes their goal, in this case, kill all the outlaws and the renegade, you reveal who you are and you'll be able to win the game. Bang has a lot to do with the card play in the game. So, for example, if I were to shoot a bang at somebody and I had a weapon, such as a Schofield, I could shoot somebody two away and they would lose one of their life points. Part of the game is trying to figure out who is who. Who do I want to shoot? But if you shoot somebody and they were to play a missed card, then my shot will have missed them and they will not lose the life points. So there's always a way to kind of defend against what you're doing if you have the proper card. There are other cards that can be played, like, say, Stagecoach, which lets you draw a couple cards. A Wells Fargo will let you do three. A Beer card, which will let you heal up. And you can always play one of those when you shot. You have a Gatling, which is kind of a cool card. You can shoot everybody else at the table. They can still block it, but you can shoot it. It does not count as a Bane card. A Panic allows you to draw a card from somebody at a distance one away. So a lot of these brown cards will allow you to do things that kind of shake things up. Then you have fun little cards like dynamite. So this will stay in front of you until it's your turn. And you draw a card. If it's a spade between two and nine, it will blow up. If not, it moves on to the next person. And whoever it blows up on will lose three points. The barrel allows you to hide somewhere. So if somebody shoots at you, you can draw a card. If it's if you draw a card and it has a heart, which down here you can see the different symbols, then it misses you. So it's kind of a fun little thing to do. Once again, you're just playing your secret roles until you have your win or loss condition. On your turn, you draw two cards. You can play as many cards as you want. You can only play one bang card. And then you discard cards down to whatever your health is or how many of these bullets that you have. You run out of bullets, you lose and are out of the game. And you just want to make sure you meet the requirements of the secret card that you have at the beginning of the game.